Hello everybody, my name is Jabari Lewis-Smith. I am the Director of Marketing and Advertising for Women Independent Studios. I'm here right now with a special interview with uh, Jaron Willis, who's the creator of Spellbearers. Um, you wanna say hi to everybody? Hi everyone, how are you doing? Yes, all right. So, yeah, you're the creator of Spellbearers. How's, how's, how's the Kickstarter for you so far? Uh, it looks like it's going pretty good. Um, yeah. yeah, we already made like over 70%. I checked today. So uh, thanks everyone for your support. Um, yeah. Yeah, 74% to be exact. And oh, wow. um, yeah, and yeah, more and more people are um, back into projects. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, you are definitely the creative uh, spell bearers. It's really exciting to actually get you on to uh, <laughs> video um, and a part of the campaign itself um we've been posting videos and um and uh we call it posting on our social medias um with other groups like our music um artists and um some of the some of the um actual like artists for the for the game spell bears so to have the creator on to be able to talk to the creator and um get your kind of view of why this game was created and such is really exciting so um I, let's just go straight into this interview um i wanted to get to know a little bit about your background so um yeah so why did you want to become a game developer and did you always know that you wanted to become a game developer well i've always enjoyed playing video games since i was a kid the first game that i've played um i, I think was probably um the original mario brothers for the for the NES, most of the friends I made in school was in large part because of video games. Uh, video games did not just provide a way for me to escape into a fun and entertaining world, but it also helped me socialize with others who shared my interests. So I suppose I wanted to become a game developer because I wanted to also be able to create those same kind of worlds that captivated me when I was a kid and be able to share those worlds uh, so that the new generation of gamers can have the same meaningful experiences uh, that I had. Um, that I always want to become a game developer. Um, not not quite. I originally wanted to be uh, a comic book artist and get into animated films. I enjoyed anime and comic books for the same reason I enjoyed uh, video games. Uh, I even started out as a college, in college as an art major. However, um, I later decided to get into computers because um, that was just a, a better, uh, I felt that would be a better field for me. Um, so I changed my major to computer science. But uh, I still had that creative uh, tendency and, and the desire to create fantasy worlds. So I made sure, even though I was in computer science, that I would focus on on video games. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. Um, so how about a little bit about your work experience? How did you find Women Independent Studios and how long have you been working with them? Well, I've worked with Women Indie for about a total of four years now. The uh, first game I've worked on with them was a casual mobile game uh, called Antics. Uh, that was back in uh, 2014, I believe. Um, that la that lasted for about two years. And directly after that, I rebuilt and managed uh, the company website uh, for about a year. And now with uh, Spellbearers in production for about a year and a half. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've been working with them for a little over four years now. A little over four years, okay. And uh, are you gonna continue like working with one independent studios for future games maybe? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. I, I, working for this company, it's, it's been very enjoyable. So I'm, I'm sure if I get another idea that I need help with, um, I'll reach out to them. If they have an idea and they need some help, I'll, I'm definitely available. Yes. Okay. Um, so what other types of work or like career wise or um, project wise have you done? Well, um, I was a teaching assistant um, while going through college teaching computer science. I also did some IT work when um, I was there in college on the, uh, at, uh, running the computer lab on the campus library. Uh, I was an adjunct professor for about a year after I graduated teaching web page programming. And um, for a little bit, I did some more IT work at an elementary school, at an elementary school sorry, short, shortly after that. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I still pondering the thought that you were teaching at Cal State, the same school as I as well. But um, I guess we never crossed paths. Um, pass okay. during that time. When, when did you graduate? So I see. I started in 2011, and then I graduated officially in um, 2017 with my BA. 
Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah I graduated in 2015, so um, yeah, I wasn't there for the for the last two years. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I think you. Yeah, you graduated when I came back from Japan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Always want to visit. It sounds cool. Yeah, I definitely got a visit. It's pretty great. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let's get back into this interview, you know, interview mode right. right now. All right. Um, cool. So I kind of label this as like game history, but um, like what type of games do you usually play and um, what do you actually like? Yeah, well, I've always liked uh, action adventures, um, RPGs type of games. I like stuff like uh, the Uncharted games, um, Batman Arkham games. Uh, the Zelda franchise, of course, Castlevania, Metal Gear, Final Fantasy, anything uh, with an expansive world and um, with a really good story is what I generally like. Gotcha. Um, yeah. right. you, you, have you played Breath of the Wild? I have not played that yet, no. no. Um, <laughs> I, I need to, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So great. Um, so yeah. do you have any just like favorite games? Like, yeah, um, probably my all-time favorite game would probably be Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Um, it used to be a ritual of mine that I would beat it every once every summer. Um, yeah, um, what else? Uh, Metal Gear, definitely Metal Gear. Uh, one of my favorite games as well. Nice, nice, nice. So, were there any specific games that inspired you to become a game developer? Uh, yeah, um, quite, quite a few. Um, like I mentioned already, Legend of Zelda. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, this was a big inspiration um, for me. And um, I would say that probably the biggest in inspiration would be uh, uh, the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Um, I just I, I really like stories that really make you think about uh, the world that you live in and the problems that we face today. Uh, I've been a big fan of stuff like, like even out, outside of the video game realm, like uh, Twilight Zone and Star Trek, stuff like that. And so I look for that type, those types of messages in, in storytelling. And uh, Metal Gear Solid franchise um, has has provided that for me in the realm of video games, and so I see people like Hideo Kojima as as kind of a model for me to um, aspire aspire towards. My next game that I want to work on would be more story driven and dealing with um, these kind of issues. Gotcha. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, let's talk a little bit about Spellbearers now. Um, so, what is Spellbearers to you? Um, so like, uh, what, what type of game it, what type of game is it? Um, like not what type of game it is, but, um, more like, um, like how does it like, let's see, that's a good question. <laughs> like, like, how do you feel about this? Um, spell bears? Like what inspired you to create spell bears? Uh, why is this okay. such an important game? Okay, sure. Um, well, first I could describe a little bit about it. So yeah. I can talk about Okay. Go okay. Well, Spellbearers is a cooperative twin stick shooter game. Um, it plays uh, a lot like the old Super Smash TV game um, for uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, but the game instead takes place in, in, a, in a gothic fantasy world, uh, very similar to Zelda and Castlevania. So instead of being like a typical commando style shoot 'em up game where you pick up power ups to change the, the different types of guns that you that you have. Instead of that, you basically are a wizard that picks up power-ups that change to different types of spells that you use. Um, so you can kind of say it's kind of like Gauntlet Legends, but it, the mechanics are more closely uh, related to Super Smash TV. And um, what prompted me on building this was, well, basically all the games that I've, I've, I've created before um, was usually someone else's idea, and I was usually part of a team. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to challenge myself with this game by saying to myself, uh, what kind of game can I make on my own um, that I would enjoy playing, but was uh, realistic enough for me to, to complete? Mm -hmm. And so um, the first game, of course, that popped in my mind was, uh, was Zelda, because I really like Zelda games, but mm -hmm. I realized that's way too ambitious and too far out of scope. So I thought, what if I took elements that I enjoyed from uh, Zelda and um, mapped those elements um, onto... Um, a simpler game mechanics from a from another game that I like, like Super Smash TV. So basically, taking some of the art elements and some simple functionality from Zelda, and then using and then using those on top of the main core game mechanics of Smash TV. 
And uh, so this sounded like a pretty good idea. And I was developing this on my own for about two years. Oh. And it quickly got out of hand. Even the, <laughs> my best intentions were to keep it small, but it's still like most games. When you create games, they always seem to get larger than you intend to. And so that's when I reached out to uh, Women Defending Studio. And um, I pitched them my game, and they seemed to really enjoy it. And they said they would, were more than happy to help me out with it. And now um, I'm working with a very talented team. And I'm very excited to say that the game is coming out even even better than um, I originally imagined it to be. It looks great. I get the chance to play it like every day. Every time you guys make a new build, a demo build and stuff like that, I play. I'm like, oh, this is new. This is different. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. awesome. Yeah, and it's really awesome because it really does look um, like a lot of inspiration did come from like The Legend of Zelda, uh, Link to the Past, and um, Super Smash TV when I looked it up, and definitely Castlevania as well. And, um, you know, it's, it just looks really nice, too, to see it um, um, compared to uh, comparing it to those like 90s games back then, and then right. using like more modern technology and color systems and lighting systems yeah. it just makes it look epic that's that's good yes yes that's that's a, a lot of what i was intending for i was trying to recapture that nostalgic feel, feeling when i was a kid that that that, that spirit of, of of video games back then and bring it into using more modern technology to make it look a little more uh, nicer so gotcha yeah thank you for that <laughs> yeah it's a great game you're creating man um yeah um so like right now you guys i know we have level one that's already created for the demo and stuff but um right now you guys are working on um like fleshing out level two right yes um the mechanic the, the, the programming is pretty much done for level two and mm -hmm. and um, level three uh we got the bosses in there uh, we're just still just polishing up the art wise so yeah gotcha. you'll definitely be seeing level two and level three here so cool cool i'm excited for that and i think um in this campaign we're going to show off a little bit of level two as well mm -hmm. or at least some of the art and stuff like that that you created yeah. Yeah, so little ice enemies to show off yes okay <laughs> all right and i am um, you know um i think that's basically it that i want that i really wanted to ask for this interview so um are there any last words that you want to say to um the, the viewers of this video and such Oh uh, yeah, just uh, thanks again for all of your support, and um, I hope you enjoy playing Spellbearers as much as we did making it. All right, all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jaron, for doing this. <laughs> and thanks um, for having me. yeah, no problem. And let's cut it there. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.